Hello, my name is Tim Robertson. I'm a certified SolidWorks application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, we'll be discussing how to eliminate interferences between parts in an assembly. First off, how do we know we have interferences? Uh, under Tools Interference Detection, we can do a quick calculation to see if there are any interferences. Um, here we have a simple two part assembly. I would like to be able to cut out the block um, with the knob in order to eliminate interferences. We could use the cavity feature. There's advantages and disadvantages of the cavity feature. This is a technique that lets you do surface trimming uh, from one part to another. Uh, let me go through it quickly here and we'll discuss the details. If I edit the block part in the assembly, I can copy a surface from another part. Now, you may have to hold shift. Uh, it's a shortcut to be able to select through transparency uh, when you're editing a part in an assembly. My visual cue that I'm editing the, the block part is that it's blue in the tree. So if I shift select the surface of the knob, I can go to insert surface offset and we'll enter a zero offset value. What have we done? Essentially, I'll uh, go back to the assembly, we have edited this part in top-down assembly mode. What does it mean? Well, it means that now we have a surface in the block part. If I open that up, uh, that'll be a little more clear. Okay. This is our solid body that we want to cut. This is our surface bodies. By the way, you may want to turn on surface and solid bodies in your tree. I'll show you briefly where that's at. It's under Tools Options. Under Feature Manager here. You want to set solid bodies to show. You want to set surface bodies to show. That guarantees that you have this in the tree. Now, we simply do a cut operation through insert cut with surface. I select my surface as the cutting surface. We remo remove material. Let me hide the surface for clarity. You can see that we've removed that volume of the part. So, we go back to our assembly and we check for interferences again and there are none. This has been Tim Roberts with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SolidWorks.